Hey, as we continue our video series on Windows 11, today we're looking at the search functionality that's now built in. Now, Search has been around for quite a while, but it's actually got much more powerful with Windows 10 and now with Windows 11. In our previous videos, we showed you that you can get to the Search function either by hitting the little Windows icon here or by going straight to the magnifying glass and just start to type in things that you're interested in. Now, I have to be honest, that's not how I tend to use Search. For me, I just hit the Windows key on the keyboard and start typing for the thing I'm interested in. And usually, before I finish typing, it's already shown me the thing that I'm looking for. So, if I look, for example, I want to start up Disney+, Plus. I'm going to hit Windows and start typing Diz, and you can see straight away it's brought up the application for Disney+. Plus. Now, it's really useful because it uses a lot of the intelligence on the machine to not just go, well, what's the best match for an application that starts with Diz, but it'll also go through the most recent applications, the most recent documents, and also any settings or features inside Windows that you might want. So as I start hitting the search button, or I hit the Windows button, sorry, and I start typing store, it's gonna show me the Microsoft Store. You can, if you want, filter those search results. So if you start to see something that brings up a lot of different search results, so I've hit note here and it's given me a notepad, sticky notes. There's a document app called Quick Notes. You'll see that across the top, I can filter where I want it to search. So do I want it to search everywhere? Applications, documents, do I want it to search on the web for something that starts with note? And you'll see it starts to bring up some web related searches here. Or do I want to look somewhere else? And here are all the different places that I can look. Now, as well as looking for applications and documents, one of the things that I found really, really good is if you can't remember your way around all these different settings panels, yeah, you can't remember where everything is, you can use search. So I want to sort out my Windows updates today. Windows key, update. Okay, and you can see the best match, check for updates and it will take me straight to that part of the control panel. Now, I could, if I remember my way, I can hit the start key, I can hit settings, I can then go to Windows Update, and there we are at the same screen, or I can hit Windows and I can type Update, and it takes me straight there. So I don't have to remember where everything is. Really useful if I want to, I don't know, add a printer or a scanner. Look at that straight to add a printer or a scanner. I don't have to remember where that setting is anymore. I just hit Windows, start typing what I'm looking for, and it takes me straight there. So it's a really nice guided experience that they're getting. And you can see that they've kind of maybe learned a bit from what you get in Apple Mac, where you hit the command and space and start searching for things. This is now a function that really, really works, and it's very, very fast in Windows 11. Well, that's it for this video, guys. We will see you on the next one.